guys, so today I'm coming at you with a collective haul. I got some kind of crafty planner related things, some makeup, some skincare, some hair care, and some home decor stuff. So I will go ahead and start with stuff for my planner. If you guys missed my planner video, I did post one about my Erin Condren life planner. I mentioned in that video that I was kind of slowly going to start purchasing things for it, so I will show you some of the things that I got. Even though I don't think I'm going to be super, super into washi tape, at least not as much as I am into stickers, I did want to get another roll of washi tape. So I checked out Target. I saw a bunch of like their Scotch Expressions tapes. Was really intrigued by the kits, because those kind of are a better value for money. So I did get this one. This one has like a seafoam green one, little stripey one. This one is metallic and kind of looks kind of like snakeskin, but it's got little colored accents. <laughs> and then this one has like the little uh, striped semicircle pattern on it too. So I really like that. And as you can see in my planner spread this week, I have utilized the striped one and it's kind of different for me, but I think it goes really nicely with March's theme and it's just really bright and colorful and Makes me excited for spring. While so. I was at Target, I did want to hit up the Target dollar spot because you know that is like a huge thing right now. I love these little organizers to organize my stickers and I saw that I did have this polka dot one in my little black and white chevron one in my planner video. I did want to go back to check to see if they had any more because when I bought mine they were the last ones and they were completely sold out so I wanted to see if maybe they had restocked them. And lo and behold, they did, and they had new colors. Um, I was really excited to get this one. This is like a bright seafoam green one. They had this solid color one in white and pink as well. They also had some watercolor striped ones, so I got the pink and the green. So cute. Watercolor is pretty huge for planner decor. There was this um, watercolor blue green chevron one. This one's probably my favorite, so I think I will store all of my most used stickers in here, so I have... An excuse to look at this every day so these are such a great deal they're only a dollar and even if you're not really into planner things um, you could store coupons in here receipts or things for school I just think these are a great way to stay organized and that's why I have a crap load of them because I will always have little papers and documents that I will need to keep organized and these will just make it so much easier I really appreciate these because they were super cheap these are these little kind of post-it note flag type things and these are called Memo It's, I think. They're super kawaii themed, which I am really, really into, I'm learning. So they have some really pretty colors and different little patterns with like pandas and lace and polka dots. And they're super, super cute. I really love them. I wish the adhesive was a little bit stronger on these because I do find that sometimes they will kind of come off and peel off my planner, which I don't appreciate, but they were only a couple bucks, so I'm not too upset about it, and they're really just there to kind of be placeholders for the current day, so I can easily see it and flip to that day. I don't know if this is from the same Amazon seller or if it was just related, but um, I did also see this little sticker pack on there too. So these are so cute. These are clear stickers, but I actually really like that about them because these actually look like little doodles. Like a lot of it is very kind of like handwritten looking. And this has little stars and coffee mugs and snowflakes and little rain clouds and little exclamations and everything. And some of it is actually um, in a language I don't recognize, but they're so cute. And because they're clear, if you put them in your planner, it kind of looks like you doodled on your planner yourself, which I think is just so, so cute. So I love these stickers so much and they were only a couple of bucks. So I will link both of these items in the description box so you can check out the Amazon seller and get your hands on them because they're so cute. And then speaking of stickers, I did want to maybe invest in something to help me make my own stickers. I talked to Andrea and she uses the Silhouette Cameo. I realized that JCPenney sells the Silhouette brand on our website. As an associate, I get a really awesome discount on everything, plus there was a coupon, plus they were on sale. These retail for 400 but I got this for nowhere near that much, so this is what it looks like. Sorry, it's kind of big. So this is just like a paper cutting machine, and it cuts paper and cardstock and fabric and vinyl. You can do so much with this machine. And this is super inspiring for me because I used to be into scrapbooking and I really want to get back into it as well as kind of paper crafting and doing more DIY projects. I love doing stuff like that and I love watching those kinds of videos. So I really, really want to get into that as well as making my own planner stickers. So that's something that I'm really, really passionate about and something I definitely want to pursue. I don't know, just to kind of keep myself happy. When you find joy in little things like that, I really feel like it's super great to just kind of go for it, even if it seems kind of wacky. Another item I bought was from Etsy 
and this is a little acrylic stand. Um, this is intended to hold eggs, <laughs> which I know sounds ridiculous, like what are you doing buying egg holders on Etsy, but I figured this would be literally the perfect thing to store my beauty blender. And like, look at that, that's literally perfect. I haven't seen very many like cool ways to store your beauty blender. I don't want to just throw this in my drawer because it will get moldy and I want it to be able to air dry, but I don't want it just like laying around on my desk because I don't want it to get dirty. So I figured if it had its own little stand, that'd be perfect. And I like acrylic storage anyway. I feel like that's like, you know, the thing right now. So I thought this was really perfect. This is only $1.75 on Etsy. So for all of you Beauty Blender owners out there, I will link that Etsy shop down below. So I would like to thank the viewer that commented on my empties video a while back when I mentioned my wet brush breaking. I contacted the wet brush and they replaced my brush and they came out with new colors. So they said I could pick any brush I wanted. So naturally I had to get like the bright mint seafoam type green one. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I just got this in the mail today. So let me open it. Ah! So that's what that looks like. I know that color is like so, 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 so bright, but I thought this would be perfect for spring. And I was so excited, like the bristles are white and everything's white. So hopefully my red hair doesn't destroy this. I will definitely avoid using this in the shower because I don't want my hair to stain it, but it's so, so pretty. Ooh, I love it. And as you can tell, I have not used it because my hair is so tangly and messed up right now. I slept with my hair in like a messy bun last night. So I woke up and it was just not wanting to do what I wanted it to today, but that's fine. Speaking of buns, I also got this next item at Bed Bath & Beyond. It was in the clearance section and it's the Hot Buns Simple Styling Solution. When I work in Sephora, I don't want to have my hair in my face. So I've been just kind of throwing my hair in a bun, especially cause it's just getting so long, but I wanted my buns to look nicer. <laughs> as inappropriate as that sounds. So I wanted to get some kind of hair donut and these were on clearance, only $4.99 and it comes with two. They look like giant poops though. Like, can we talk about like how icky this looks? The actual bun itself makes me really uncomfortable, but they do work pretty well. So this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, but as you can tell, this is the big Jahunkin jar. I get the um, $12 bottle that is only an ounce. This is 12 ounces and it was 39. So I think it's a much better buy. I keep this on my vanity, use it every single day for my hands as well as my face and neck. Lastly, I have three makeup items. The first one is the lip color I'm wearing and I actually bought this a long time ago. I intended to include it in my birthday haul. I left it in my purse so I completely forgot about it but I did not want it to go unmentioned because I love it so much. This is the Laura Mercier lipstick. This is a sheer lipstick in Tender Lips which is like, you know, a really nice, like dark brown toned kind of nudey color. Huh. Normally I'm not super into colors like this, but I don't know where this lipstick has been my entire life. Pretty much wear this on the daily. I freaking love it. And it's just like my favorite natural everyday lip color, but it also, if you really layer it up, it can be super dark and super vampy. And I really, really, really enjoy this lip color. I don't own anything else from Laura Mercier, but it makes me want to try everything from her because I love it so much. So I bought that at Sephora like a while ago. I also went to Sephora again yesterday and I got two items from Becca and I really wanted to try out a blush. And um, Becca doesn't really have a huge range of blushes, at least not that I've seen. There was one specific color that just really jumped out at me and this is in the color, I think Songbird. Yeah, so this is the Becca Mineral Blush and Songbird. I gotta take out the little plasticky thing. That's what that looks like. <laughs> I love it. It's orange, obviously, because I freaking love orange on my face. I wish I was a little bit more tan because I feel like I could really pack this on, but I think just like a sheer wash will be really super nice. That's the color that it looks like. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. So clearly bright orange blush. Really love it. It's got a definite sheen to it, so I think that'll be really, really pretty on the cheeks, especially with spring and summer coming up. I think that'll be gorgeous, and I have had really great luck with Becca so far. I did get the cream eyeshadow. Did I get the wrong one? I don't think I meant to get this one. No! I meant to get um, the taupe one, not the bronze one. So this is in the shade, I think it's in the shade Guilt. I thought I double checked it though. Man, dang it, I gotta go back. So this is the Becca Eye Tint in Guilt or Jilt. That kind of sucks. This is still really pretty. I will probably still keep it, but it's not the one I meant to get. This is in Guilt or Jilt, I'm not sure, it's with a G, and it's just like a nice creamy bronzy color. This is not the color I meant to get though. I'm like really upset about that. The one I meant to get was actually the color of MAC Satin Taupe, but in a cream 
liquidy type form and I really like the packaging that it comes in. I feel like it's really easy to not get too much product and it won't dry out as easily as like a pot would. So I'm a little disappointed that this isn't the one I thought I grabbed, but you know what? I will probably still use it, so I'll probably keep it, but definitely need to go back for the other one because the other one was seriously gorgeous. Like I love it so, so much. That's really pretty. Dang. Thank you so much for tuning into my haul video today. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.